All right, guys. Here we are. Preparing to go live, y'all. Oh, we're already we're live now, but. Uh, just a minute, I'll be through with this. And we can get on with the business of talking about Jesus and such. How's everybody doing tonight? Praise the Lord. Woo! Hallelujah. What a day, y'all. How's everybody doing? I hope you're doing really good. I'm having to fight with my little equipment. I don't have much equipment, y'all. Uh, I just got this little tripod. Every once in a while, it decides it doesn't even want to play right. Hey, Tom. Who got there? Tom, Finn. Anybody else? Who's there? Sarah Lou. Praise God. Robert. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah, everybody. Let's see if I can get this thing set up straight. Oh, goodness. Hallelujah. Whew. So I can get this thing set up where I can operate on it. Hallelujah. Praise God. There's Kate. Praise God. Welcome to Coffee with Clell. It's actually tea with me, but it's Coffee with Clell. And uh, we're glad to have you. Uh, let me see if I can get this thing set around where maybe it'll. It's a little, it's a little old dinky table in my son's house. I'm in his basement again. We was going to go home and a, a situation come up. Y'all know about them. Uh, a situation come up. <laughs> and so we don't need to go home tonight. We're going to be here tonight. We're going to, we got to take care of some business about 30 minutes in the morning and boom, we're going to be headed out. Is James here? I didn't see him. I hope he is. Praise God. Hallelujah. There he is, James. Man, we've been missing you. You know, we have a good time when you're not here, but it's not as good as when you are. You know? Hallelujah. Praise God. I told y'all, he's been working. That's a working man. He does all kinds of heavy work. Anyhow, um, whoo, praise God. Y'all don't tell you. Uh, first and foremost, we need to, this is uh, this Coffee with Clell. I'm Coffee with Clell. Um, we're now an entity, so uh, if uh, if I ever get my link to work on my page, if you go to it and buy something while you're on Amazon, a few pennies will come to Coffee with Clell. That money will be used to keep the prayer cloth ministry free. A prayer cloth is nothing more than a square of cloth by yay big with... Um, anointing oil on it that we pray over morning and night and we ask god to uh anoint them and to to, to uh, send them we send them out to people for free we don't charge anything for them we haven't charged anything for them. We ain't planning on charging nobody for them we send them to pakistan india brazil uh the netherlands um canada and all but four states and uh you know those four states I think are the ones with the least population. I'm not sure about New Hampshire, whether New Hampshire don't have any population or not. But anyways, um, all good in the hood. Eventually, somebody from those are going to represent. Hello, Bridget. Praise God. It's good to see you tonight. Um, oh, man. Whew. I just got this feeling, folks. I'm going to tell you right now. And I, and I don't know. I don't know. Um, I don't know about what we can, what I can share about it. I don't know how to express it. It's a, but uh, I feel something good. And, uh, you know, can you do a Ben reveal? I don't know what that is. Hallelujah. Uh, hallelujah. But understand this, there's going to be, there's going to be something. I just, I just feel like something good is about to happen. Name something and I will draw it. <laughs> I feel like something good is on its way. I 
feel like something good is about to happen and the feeling's getting stronger every day. I feel like something good is about to happen. I feel like something good is on its way. I feel like something good is about to happen and the feeling's getting stronger every day. The feeling's getting stronger every day. Hallelujah. That's what I'm telling you. I just feel something good is about to happen. And I feel that. I feel like I get a half inch of rain. Praise God. Half inch of rain. We need to get more, Danny. Hallelujah. Oh, God. Help, 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 help. Oh, God. Help, 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 help. Oh, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Kate. We know, we recognize them when we see them. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Praise God. Whoo, hallelujah. Danny, it's good to see you, man. Good to see you. Glad you got some rain. You need more, though. I know you do. Everybody really does. We go back to, to the house tomorrow. And uh, I don't know if it's raining up there or not, but we're going back to the house tomorrow and I got to work on my bees a little bit, get them, get them winterized is what I'm doing, sort of making them bolster one another. So, uh, woe to you who desire the day of the Lord for what day is it to you? It is a day of darkness. Wow, Mike Mitchell, where'd you get that from old buddy, old being no pal for nobody? Hallelujah. So, uh, anyhow, um, you know, I desire the day of the Lord every day, so I must be in terrible woe, y'all. I desire the Lord's day. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. I will rejoice, I will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it because this is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. Oh, praise God. Oh, this is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. Oh, I will rejoice. I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Oh, this is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. Hallelujah. You know what, um, Finn? I was I, I was thinking something along those lines. I was out here I had to go walk the dog. The reason I, I was just a little bit late. I didn't get myself in here as quick as I wanted to get in. But um, I was thinking the same thing. All of the videos that I have seen coming out, I feel like they're controlled opposition. I think I feel like they're designed to keep you from looking. I don't see any parents screaming for their kids okay i don't see any do you has have anybody seen any videos where they're saying you know um our kids are missing i ain't seen none and i'm not saying they're not there i ain't seen none and the ones that i've seen have all tried to to, to look at this mayor uh look at this mayor and and tell us that look the that, that's there's the question is the are the parents dead 2,000 kids that's a whole bunch of parents okay and you know and that's what I'm saying what are we doing with it? We're, we're, we're what really and I don't think we'll ever know what really went on nor not just like they talk about that shady hawk you know what I'm talking about I can't say it if I say it I'll be I'll be knocked off in about uh five minutes so, um, but if I, if I, if that, that, uh, that place where there was a, okay, that place where there was a, uh, there was a, uh, uh, a school and 
I never heard any of the parents from that. And today, they went in, they, go do the, the research on this. They went in and dug the entire thing up. So you can't go in and look at back over floor plans or nothing and, and tore it all up. Uh, brother, I'm not fearing being banned. I'm telling you, they will ban me, okay? I'm not telling you what I think. I've got super trolls, brother. <laughs> I, I have got super trolls. Uh, I, 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 they knocked me off within within five minutes. Uh, read the prophets of old. Okay, man. I, I, and that's what I'm saying. But see, I'm here on a mission to spread God's word, and because I am, I will. Uh, I, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna engage in a lot of those other things. But that isn't that interesting. That uh, the the only people coming out are they're pointing their finger at this this mayor, and everybody's focusing on that. And the focal point is not. The missing children. Can you imagine that? I mean, be for real. Okay. What would be important? I mean, if I come home and my house was burnt up and I could get my children, I would say, okay, I can get a new house. Okay. By doggone it, man. Getting new children. That's a different process. I can see y'all are knocking some people off. I don't know what's going on. Um, I guess got some folks that are just not feeling real good. Um, but I don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm looking at that. And I, my questions are, I, listen, I, I will do some videos that I'll put up and they'll knock them down too. Or they'll just shadow ban me. Um, my videos ain't getting nowhere anyways right now. Um, Church is apostate when you read the word for yourself after asking the Father for the truth. Okay. Praise God. Um, hallelujah. Hallelujah. There you go. Anyways, didn't come on here to argue about the condition of the church. Matter of fact, I will discuss the condition of the church. Because the condition of the church, Jesus' church, is great, wonderful, and, and fine. The state of religion is what you're talking about. And uh, did y'all see, Sarah Lou, did you send me that video of the guy that the reporter come up on him at the plane? I'm telling you right now, if that guy didn't look like a lizard in flesh, I ain't never, and he's, and I know who he is. I can't remember what his name is. He is a huge, big time, flies around in the, in the plane evangelist stuff, you know, and he's on his way to this thing over there. And every time he smiles, every time he smiles, I'm like, you can tell he is forcing a smile. You can tell. He, he, he looks at that woman that's, and, and when she, when she looks at that woman, okay. Is that who that is? Okay. Well, I ain't liked him for a long time. Um, when, when he looks at her, you can see, in my opinion, only an opinion, a demon looking out from him. That's, that is what I saw. Okay. That is what I saw. And, and I was like, man, oh man, look at this guy. He is, he is, oh my goodness. You know, evil incarnate rolling. Okay. And I put your hand on the radio, send me a thousand dollars. I need a new plane. And he could, he could fly. He said he could fly. Uh, it, it looked like Larry, it looked like this right here. It didn't look like a smile. It looked like this. Okay. Like I said, you know, um, tell him the right. Sarah Lou, was that right? Yeah, exactly. Uh, and, and, and because he couldn't afford to fly in um, regular because it would take so long. And his time was just that valuable. And I'm like, well, bless God. You know, I can make an excuse up for anything you want to do. I'm, I'm telling you right now. And I've seen, I've seen men do it. Listen, if you do it in a little thing, you'll do it in a big thing, Okay. All right. My wife, for two and a half years, was uh, in a position where, um, I mean, um, she was 100% bedridden. It it hurt just to touch her. 
So y'all know we were, um, we got kisses like this one. Okay. That was the extent of our, our love life. So if I wanted to be like that fellow there, I could have made an excuse to go out and got me a girlfriend. Okay. Well, you know, you can make it, the point being, you can make an excuse for anything that you want to do. Okay. And he just popped a convenient excuse up there. And oh my goodness. Well, I needed that airplane. I mean, you don't know what it would mean for me to travel commercial. Well, dude, if you've been traveling commercial um, and now you can't, you did you get a promotion? I'm going to tell you right now, the biggest promotion in the kingdom of God makes you more of a servant to the people of God than it does to the whims of the world. Justification for sin. That's right. That's right, man. I can justify my sin if that's what I want to do. There is a reason why there is no way around it. Okay? Uh, and, and you've seen people do it. They're, listen, um, go, go all the way back. And do, not sin necessarily, but, you know, a guy wants to get a new bass boat. He will find a reason to get a new bass boat. Okay? Oh, this one. Man, it's, it's got the paint's all chipped. Because, you know, when your paint's chipped, you know, you can't fish out of it. Uh, you know, uh, I mean, the good gracious, you know, got to have it. Anyhow, praise God. Let's get on what we come on here for. We, we got the Super Trolls milked out of here, I see. They came in hard and fast tonight. I appreciate y'all taking care of them. I was watching them come through there, and I was like, well, dog, my cats, look at them. Well, they just, they're on us tonight, ain't they? Hallelujah. Y'all took care of them. Though. I appreciate that. Don't forget. Here, be coat. <laughs> I did not say that. I didn't say it, Adam. I didn't say that. Um, he rebuked COVID and blew the wind of God. Yeah. Well, you know, Obama went down and stood on the on the beach and told the hurricane to turn. So, you know, what are you going to do? Um, whew. Let's start fresh. We're in our fast here today. We're in the core group of the fast. I didn't get to start until seven o'clock. Um, you know, when you, when you, like I told you, I'm, and, and it's family first. And, uh, you know, um, I don't want to see none of them. He made my skin crawl. Uh, but anyhow, um, anyhow, we want to pray. And uh, we're in our fast. We're moving forward. This is the 66th day of the fast. We're going to continue to fast. We're going to continue to pray. God is going to continue to move. God is going to continue to minister. I'm telling you that I must decrease, that he might increase. I'm telling you that whatever is happening in this world, be it men, be it monsters, be it myth, God is the truth. God is the way, the truth, and the light. There is no way that we're going to make heaven except through Jesus Christ. It doesn't matter we, where the unity of this fast is. We don't all understand Jesus the same way, but we all understand that Jesus is our Savior, and we have a rock to start on. We've got a point of connection. We're using the point of connection to move forward, and, and Lord willing, we'll go into this book right here, and both of us, all of us, will come out with something more than we went in. It always happens. God is always the right answer. The Bible is always the right answer. The Bible is God's truth, basic instructions, before we're leaving earth. Hallelujah. I don't want to get out there halfway up there and find out that I've, I, I should have checked on something. I want to check on it now. I want to do that. I want God is going to move. God is doing great things. He's helping. He's healing. He's moving and he's leading and directing. And I praise him for this. But then we, oh, goodness. It's been that kind of day, y'all. Um, I got my prayer list over here somewhere. Where'd I put it? Let me grab this prayer list real quick if I can find it. <clears throat> read off a couple of names and a couple of situations maybe that we can we can all agree on to uh to uh to keep up before the lord no you can find it right there it ain't there oh goodness getting old is not fun what comes in seconds less all right here we go prayer cloth list all right first and foremost we got our prayer cloth book 
all right, that we do our prayer class in. We've got over a thousand. I got a few of them. I got to mail out tomorrow when I get back home. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to run over a few of them, just a couple of them that I still got here. Uh, Jay's homeless uh, dad for his, his uh, Samuel for his dad, soften his heart. And, uh, Adriana, um, Adriana for a job and uh, she's feeling better. Kenneth for a kidney. Uh, Miranda has mental health issues. Um, for my buddy Finn for his mom and family. Um, Karen for her family. Uh, Angela and her son Walt and wife Erica. Uh, let's see. Um, where are we at? Angela's Doug and Tina. Shirley's Bobby needs a job. Cupcake has emotional and physical needs and, and also um, she's battling some, some demons up that way. Tina and Nick, as they transition, Nick is on hospice. Uh, Tom's sister-in-law needs a job. Um, Bridget wants a closer walk with God. Todd, um, his granddaughter, Renly, has had the COVID. Praise God. I believe she said she's healed. Uh, but her, her mother and father, Hope and Aaron, he, we're hoping for them to get a closer walk with God. Kim's having seizures and neck pain. Charles's feet, which is actually his heart. Christina, Carolina has diabetes. Um, Bradley has emotional and psychological trauma. Um, Karen and Skyler. Belinda for demonic influences that she's battling. Amy and Jeff. Um, Rosa Joy's mom, Pamela. And uh, Cupcake's husband, Marvin, has spleen, liver, and sugar issues. And her dog, Snickerdoodle, is recovering from uh, uh, surgery. Adriana needs a job. And Ivan has a leg infection. And Jody just needs prayer. That girl needs to not drive. She's got a target on her back. I'm telling you that right now. Bless her heart. But anyway, let's do that. If I got any more that I need to say up here, let me see. Did I see any more? 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 I did not see any more. Okay, hallelujah. All right, so let's just go ahead and, and pray for them children on Maui. Don't get pray for them children on Maui, okay? Without without exception, don't get pray for them children. The whole thing, the whole it smells of dead fish to high heaven, okay? So true, Amen. Lord, in Jesus' name, we come to you in faith, believe and trust in you, God, lifting you up and magnifying you, the one true God, the everlasting Father and Prince of Peace and King of Glory. Hallelujah. Praise God. We thank you, Jesus, for your goodness and mercy. We ask you, Lord, if you would, to continue to bless God and keep us, to minister to us and through us, Lord, to help us, heal us, lead us, guide us, protect us. Father, we ask for your forgiveness and your blessings. We ask you, Lord, as you forgive us, let us be forgiving to those who have sinned against us. As you bless our homes, God, let us be a blessing to others, helping us, God, to overcome, to do the great and wonderful things that we need to be doing. Hallelujah, Lord, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Oh, God, hallelujah. We thank you for this. In Jesus' name, um, we see that, Adam. Hallelujah. We, we, we don't know. But we ask you, Lord, in Jesus' name, if you would, to continue to bless, to guide, to keep, to help, to heal, to lead. Father, today, as we fast, as we renew the fast, the covenant as we come to you, we ask you to unite us, God, in the name of Jesus. Unite us that we, Lord Jesus, can be better people. We can be connected one to another. We can see strength coming. We can exude confidence. And we can move into areas that we've not moved into before. We thank you, Lord, for this and all things, and we praise your holy name. We ask you, God, be with our service members around the globe here at home, guarding our nation, our borders, our communities. God, help us send us revival, bring us closer together, and, and help us to find the Second Chronicles 714 experience, whereby we turn to you as a people, and you heal our land, you heal our nation, you heal our population. God, that brother can stand beside brother, regardless of the colors of our skin, of the background of our of our of our families, and we can stand beside brothers and sisters together, holding the name of Jesus together and embodying it and standing against the one enemy we have all together is Satan. We ask it in Jesus' name and we give you glory, honor and praise. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, God. Now, <clears throat> last night we left off on John. 
just to John, uh, we're just reading John through, and we're talking about the things that happen. Y'all pray for my wrist. Well, golly. And right, right there, it just hurts. Well, it's good to see you, Pastor Water. Praise God. Uh, oh, my goodness. Let's just uh, let's just see what we can do here. Oh, yeah. Amen. So, Lord, we ask you, if you would, to say more than I'm going to say, Lord, as we're just reading this word of God and let it come alive in our lives, God. Lord, we ask you to anoint me that, Lord, whatever we cover tonight, Lord, will be covered with your will. And Father, we give you praise, glory, and honor for this and all things, magnifying you in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I need some willow bomb. Willow bomb. I think we got some goldenrod bomb or something. Uh, but anyways. Oh, chapter 13 of John. Okay. Chapter 13 of John. If y'all are ready, it's going to be chapter, verse one. Now, before the feast of the Passover, when Jesus knew that his hour was come, that he should depart out of this world unto the Father, having loved his own, which were in the world, he loved them unto the end. And supper being ended, the devil, having now put into the heart of Judas Iscariot, Simon's son, to betray him, Jesus, knowing that the Father had given all things into his hand and that he was come from the, from God and went to God, he riseth from supper and laid aside his garment and took a towel and girded himself. After that, he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with the towel wherein he was girded. Then cometh he to Simon Peter, and Peter saith unto him, Lord, dost thou wash my feet? Jesus answered and said unto him, What I do thou knowest not now, but thou shalt know hereafter. Peter saith unto him, Thou shalt never wash my feet, Lord. Jesus, thou shalt never wash my feet. Jesus answered him, If I wash thee not, Thou hast no part with me. Simon Peter saith unto him, Lord, not my feet only, but also my hands and my head. Oh. Simon, and, and Jesus says to him, He that is washed needeth not save to wash his feet, but is clean every whit. And ye are clean, but not all. For he knew who should betray him. Therefore said he, Ye are not all clean. So after he had washed their feet and had taken their garments and was set down again, he said unto them, Know ye what I have done to you? Ye call me master and Lord, and ye say, Well, for so I am. If I then your Lord and master have washed your feet, ye also ought to wash one another's feet. For I have given you an example that ye should do as I have done to you. Verily, Verily I say unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord, neither he that is sent greater than he that sent him. If ye know these things, happy are ye if ye do them. I speak not to you all, I know whom I have chosen, but that the scripture may be fulfilled. He that eateth bread with me hath lifted up his heel against me. Now I tell you before it comes, that when it come to pass, ye may believe that I am he. Again, that, that is italicized. He didn't say I am he. He said, you may believe that I am. Verily, verily I say unto you, he that receiveth whomsoever I send receiveth me, and he that receiveth me receiveth him that sent me. When Jesus had thus said, he was troubled in his spirit and testified and said, Verily, verily, I say unto you that one of you shall betray me. Then the disciples looked one on another, doubting of whom he spake. Now there was leaning on Jesus' bosom, one of his disciples, whom Jesus loved, it was John. Simon Peter, therefore, beckoned to him that he should ask who it should be of whom he spake. He then, lying on Jesus' breast, saith unto him, Lord, who is it? Jesus answered, 
he it is to whom I shall give a sop when I have dipped it. And when he had dipped the sop, he gave it to Judas Iscariot, the son of Simon. And after the sop, Satan entered into him. Then said Jesus unto him, that thou dost do quickly. Now, no man at the table knew for what intent he spake this unto him. For some of them thought, because Judas had the bag, that Jesus had said unto him, buy those things that we have need of against the feast, or that he should give something to the poor. He then, having received the sop, went immediately out, and it was night. Therefore, when he was gone out, Jesus said, now is the son of man glorified and God is glorified in him. If God be glorified in him, God shall also glorify him in himself and shall straightway glorify him. Little children, yet a little while I am with you. Ye shall seek me. And as I said unto the Jews, whither I go, ye cannot come. So now I say to you, a new commandment I give unto you, that ye love one another as I have loved you, that ye also love one another. By this shall all men know that ye are my disciples, if ye have love one to another. Simon Peter said unto him, Lord, whither goest thou? Jesus answered, whither I go, thou canst not follow me now, but thou shalt follow me afterwards. Peter said unto him, Lord, why cannot I follow thee? I will lay down my life for thy sake. Jesus answered, wilt thou lay down thy life for my sake? Verily, verily I say unto thee, the cock shall not crow till thou hast denied me thrice. I mean, oh my goodness, look at that. Okay, look at that. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh God, we're glad you're back, brother. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh God, thank you, Jesus, hallelujah. Whew. I want y'all to think about that now. They're in there, and and I'm fixing to start in, in chapter number 14, verse number one. I'm talking about chapter 13 right now. Um, I mean, my cell today. Okay, Adriana. Um, and so, Jesus tells tells Peter where I'm going, you're going you're gonna to follow me. Um, Oh, <laughs> and it's the past tense to speak. Um, but so, um, a lot happened there. And when we look at that, when we see that, um, we see that we under we we understand that that, that Jesus. One of the most important things is He's a new commandment I'm giving you. That you love people the way that I love you. Earlier, that old guy—I don't know if he's if he's one of the people that got banned or whatever—but he made a comment about the church not being, you know. And my my comment back was, you know, um, the church is fine. Religious religious organizations are are hurting, and that's that's what right here. The church is the body of believers that are obedient to God's word and are loving the brothers and sisters as Christ loved them. We're looking for, we're looking for the greater love. Why would, no, Jesus wasn't inherently evil. I don't believe, I don't even believe that Judas is in hell. Um, now, I, the reason that I do that is because Judas died under the law. He did repent. Later on, he's going to repent. When he repents, because he's under the old law, his sin will have gone under the sacrifice that covered Israel. And he repents before Jesus dies. So, now, having said that, I'm not telling you he's saved either. I don't know. 
We'll get to that. We'll get to that. Oh, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. We'll get there. We'll get there, Emma. Hallelujah. Now, <clears throat> so it takes a little bit more than a quick, a quick look at that. To, to make a surmise and everybody wants to go, well, Judas, man, he's burning in hell. Jesus didn't ever not love him, did he? You know, Jesus didn't, it was, it was God's will that all come to repentance and that none perish. That's still Judas. So I'm, I'm, I'm like, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm thinking he's got a chance in here. Now, does he or doesn't he? It ain't up to me, folks. Okay. We can get into some deep theological. Um, he did. We can get into some deep theological questions. Okay. Hallelujah. Oh God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He didn't tell him to do it. He said that you're going to do, do quickly. He didn't tell him to do it. All right, now, chapter 14, verse number one. One of my favorite scriptures. Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself that where I am, there ye may also be. And whither I go, ye know, and the way ye know. Thomas saith unto him, Lord, we know not whither thou goest, and how can we know the way? Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Now listen. Remember, if we interject that word, and, and when you see Father, I'm not telling you not to read it, if you think Spirit, and when you see Son, when Jesus speaks of himself in the persona, think of the flesh, okay? The flesh, I am the way, the truth, and the light. The, 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 the fact that the flesh was able to do all of these things and spill this blood unto the Spirit, but by me. If ye had known me, ye should have known my Father, also, and from henceforth, ye know him and have seen him. Father, you know him and you have seen him. Philip saith unto him, Lord, show us the father and it sufficeth us. Now, direct question. Jesus just got through telling you that from henceforth, ye know him and have seen him. And Philip Mouth of two or three witnesses, people. This is a secondary scripture. Jesus saith unto him, have I been so long time with you and yet hast thou not known me, Philip? He that hath seen me hath seen the Father. And how sayest thou then, show us the Father? I don't know. Can you get that when preachers talk to me about Jesus? <laughs> Believest thou not that I am in the Father and the Father is in me. The words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, but the Father that dwelleth in me, he doth the works. Believe me that I am in the Father and the Father is in me, or else believe me for the very works sake. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he do also. Woo, there it is. And greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. And whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If ye shall ask anything in the, my name, I will do it. If ye love me, keep my commandments, and I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever, even the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, 
neither knoweth him, but ye know him, for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. Yet a little while, and the world seemeth me no more, but ye see me, because I live, ye shall also live. At that day, ye shall know that I am in the Father, and ye in me, and I in you. He that keepeth, no, I'm sorry, he that, that hath my commandments and keepeth them, he it is that loveth me. And he that loveth me shall be loved of my Father, and I will love him and will manifest myself to him. Judas saith unto him, not Iscariot, Lord, how is it that thou wilt manifest thyself unto us and not unto the world? And Jesus answered and said unto him, If a man love me, he will keep my words, and my Father will love him. And we will come unto him and make our abode with him. He that loveth me not keepeth not my sayings, and the word which ye hear is not mine, but the Father's which sent me. These things have I spoken unto you, being yet present with you. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance. Whatsoever I have said unto you, peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you, not as the world giveth give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Ye have heard how I said unto you, I go away and come again unto you. If ye loved me, ye would rejoice because I said, I go unto the Father, for my Father is greater than I. And now I have told you before it come to pass, that when it is come to pass, ye might believe. Hereafter I will not talk much with you, for the prince of this world cometh and have nothing in me, but that the world may know that the love of the Father and, and may, may, may know that, that I love the Father, and as the Father gave me commandment, even so I do arise. Let us go hence. <coughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. Listen. John 14, we know who the son is and he lays it out for us. The, the father, Philip, have I been so long with you, time with you and yet hast thou not known me, Philip? He that has seen me has seen the father. Okay, John 14, 26. But the comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the father will send in my name, in my name. Now, if we come to understand this, what we're seeing is Father, Son, Holy Ghost are titles. They're offices that God held. He's a Father in creation, the Son in redemption, and the Holy Ghost in regeneration and the, the, the recreation in the body, in the people, okay? But there's only one God, and there never was any more. There's only one God. One God manifest, made known, shown. You know, you see him differently, but... People get confused. The gospel message has to be for the poor, the ignorant, the unlearned, the unwashed masses. And so you can't give them something that is because the Trinity come out about 300 years after the Bible, about after after Jesus, because the, the, the Trinity is a word that, they, that the Catholic Church made up to cover their influx of of people coming into the to the the Catholic Church, and you know, they made it up. There is, it, it's not that there's not a Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. It's there's not three. Okay, there aren't. It, it, there is no division in God. And the, if you've read the doctrine of the Trinity, go and read it. And when you get through reading it, the first thing you'll read in there, if you read the original document of the of the Trinity, it says. In order to be saved, a person must first hold the Catholic faith. So, if you're going to receive the doctrine of the Trinity and you're not a Catholic, you've already lost. Okay? So, I covered that before. Okay? It's, it's, it's not three and one. Triune means there's three. Okay? Three that, that combine to be one. And it's just it just will not wash in the scriptures. Okay? 
It will not wash in the scriptures. You, you can you you you'll beat yourself over the head. Um, but it, it's 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 not here. All right, in John fourteen, right here, in we know that Jesus is the name of the Son. And you're going back to Matthew 28, 19 and 20. Okay. Which says, Go ye therefore to all nations, teaching, first teaching first, and that's important, and baptizing them in the name, and the name is singular, the singular name of the Father, comma, and of the Son, comma, and of the Holy Ghost. But only one name is given. You know why? Because there is only one name under heaven given among men whereby they must be saved, Acts 4 and 12. Okay, the, the doctrine of the Trinity, what happened was about 100 years after the, after the, um, the church has come about, they started to win a whole bunch of Romans, then they've went in a whole bunch of Greeks, they got these people coming in, they got a God for everything. Okay, and so they're... They're, they're, the coffers are getting fat. They're starting to get money. Okay? That's right. I, I'm not arguing scriptures with you, Doc. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to line them up for you. Okay? And so they're they're coming there, and they're, they're, they're used to being able to pray to Apollo if they made Zeus mad or, or Venus if they made Mars mad or whatever. Okay? And so... What they do is they go and then they take that scripture where Jesus says, you know, I will pray to the Father. And he it does say that. If we realize, okay, that he is in an office, okay, and in this office of the Son, he is obedient to his own word, okay? God, Father in creation, created the world. But yet it says Jesus created the world, Okay? In John 1 and 1, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. God and His Word are inseparable. Then in John 1 and 14, and the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Jesus is, and everybody agrees, the living Word of God. There is no separation. Then in Jesus, if we think of Him when He says, Son of God, if you think of him as being the flesh, because he is the only flesh God ever wore. If you imagine one man, here I am a man, okay? God fills the universe. God can take and put as much God in me as he could, and it would still be the universe full of God. That's what Jesus was. He was a dichotomy. He was 100% man. And he was 100% God, and he was both of them at the same time. It's impossible for me, but things that are impossible for me are not impossible for God. So when we when we come and you, if we start talking about Matthew 28, 19, we see the Father in, in John 14, verse 8, when Philip says, Lord, show us the Father. He said, if you have seen me, you have seen the Father. And then in John 14, 26, we got the name of the Son. So the name of the Father is Jesus. Then in John 14, 26, but the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, because that is the office, the Creator is the office that sends the, the Comforter, if you will. Okay, but there's not a division. A lot of people will say, well, it's like an egg. You know, the egg, that's three in one. It's got, it's got yolk, it's got white, and it's got eggshell, okay? That's incorrect. Here's why. Jesus is God, okay? If you take that egg and you break it apart and you take the yolk out, it's not an egg anymore. It's an egg yolk. It is a subpart. The, 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 the shell is not an egg in an oven by itself. God is God. Men tried to divide him. Men have divided him because it is it is easier on their coffers when they can placate men. And this is exactly what they were doing. They were placating these men, getting them to come in. Oh, well, we'll get the father for you. If you go out there and you look on the on on the 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 the, the, 
all of these big churches and they've got these big statues. We've been told not to put up idols, but they got these big statues. And so you can listen, pray to Mary, pray to Joseph, pray to what, why? Why? They died just like we did. They had to be baptized just like we did. They got to live their life just like we did. They were just people. Okay. And that, that's what, that's what I'm saying. When we're talking about this, I'm not in here to beat down what you know about God. Lord willing, what we will do is enlighten what you do know and bring you further along and bring me further along as I go across it so that we are coming. Exactly. There, there, there are no saints. Okay. There's, you can call them saints and that's all well and good, but they ain't up there praying for you no place. Okay. But it is akin, have, thinking you have a patron saint is akin to thinking you got a lucky little leprechaun running around with you. It ain't happening. It is appointed man wants to die, then the judgment. Where did the saint go? He went straight from here to the judgment, just like everybody else. Mary went to the cross when her son died and received his body down. Okay, I believe she was one of the ones on the day of Pentecost in the upper room that got filled with the Holy Ghost. And got, you know, and got filled with the Holy Ghost. I believe that she was one of them 120 that day. Okay. Because she still had to be saved. She had still had to obey the gospel doctrine. Okay. That's, that's what, that's, if, if you, if we stray from God's word, we enter into error. When we start to take on and decide that, well, I know more. Than uh that than God let, let lets on. No, anybody that knows more than God lets on is a liar. Okay, when God turns and opens up the the any more truth than this, when the rapture comes, I believe there'll be a way for the people that are left behind to be saved. I have no idea what it'll be. Okay, I am not going to speculate on what it will be. Okay, but here's what I do know. God has always made a way for men to find him in their distresses. So I believe there will be a way, but I don't know. Hmm. All right. I might be out here getting that truth out again, y'all. So Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and life. One way. One way. Okay. If you go to Isaiah 96, okay, Old Testament. Isaiah 96. Hold on, y'all. I'm almost there. Isaiah 9 and 6. This is, let's see, where is Isaiah? Uh, 740 B.C. So, about 740 years before Jesus is born. Okay? For unto us a child is born. Okay, that'd be Jesus, wouldn't it? Unto us a child, a son is given. Ooh, it's a boy child, Jesus. And the government shall be upon his shoulders, and his name shall be called Wonderful. Everybody's good for that. Counselor. Oh, yeah, okay. The Mighty God. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. How does that line up with what I learned? The Everlasting Father. The Prince of Peace. No division. And then you go to 2 Timothy 3.16. Okay. We'll bring that over into the New Testament. 2 Timothy 3.16. I'm sorry. It's 1 Timothy 3.16. 1 Timothy 3.16. And without controversy, great is the mystery of godliness. God, singular God right there, was manifest. I'm sorry. God was manifest in the flesh. Jesus, justified in the spirit, seen of angels, preached unto the Gentiles, believed on in the world, received up into glory. Okay, listen, what has happened and, and continues to happen, Satan is a divider and lies divide. I, I believe so. I, not the unbelievers, the believers, there are going to be some believers that's going to figure it out when all of a sudden these people that have been serving God are gone. Now, I don't think that there's going to be as many as, as some people believe. I believe there's more than other people believe. I don't know how many people are going to go. It's going to be the obedient ones. 
Uh, but but you know what I'm saying? It ain't it ain't going to be uh, God. God has always made a way for people to be saved. Now, may not be a bunch because if you remember Noah and his family was all that was saved in that part, and it was only eight. And there, it is believed that there were millions of people in the world at that time. You know, so you're going to get people. Well, bless God. Why? What? What do you think about that? Uh, no, God is coming for the church that teaches truth and, and, and they'll be caught up and the people that are teaching the false, tr false doctrines and stuff like that are going to be left behind. That's going to be the testimony that they were teaching false doctrine. The, the, the people that, that taught tr truth left and, and avoided the last three and a half years of the tribulation. The errant church, the liars are still going to be down here getting hammered with all that other stuff, right? I mean, that, that, that's where we go. Okay. Um, God's church, no argument there. God's church is here on earth. That's that's the truth. Uh, so when we come into this, this chapter 14, we realize and Jesus is trying to, he's trying to reach one more time and reach this out. But like I told you, a hundred years after Jesus' death, the Athanasius Creed comes to being. Now, I don't know where the Athanasius Creed comes. I did not, um, I didn't do a study on it. I, I picked up on when the Athanasius Creed came out. Okay. And uh, Razor, you ain't got no arguments here, son. Um, you know, the, the, the Athanasius Creed comes out and it is the forerunner to the doctrine of the Trinity. Okay. It is the forerunner to the doctrine of the Trinity because they've got these people coming in and face it, they want to keep the money coming. And just like in the, in, in the, in the Pharisees, when Jesus is going there, the, the Pharisees are like, listen, this guy keeps on running his mouth out here. We got people leaving our congregation here. Okay, they're not putting their money in the offering pot. And I'm going to tell you right now, uh, religious people are motivated by money. Okay, it shouldn't be. I understand what I said. Religious people are motivated by money. Okay, godly people are motivated by seeing men turn from their sins to God Almighty. Okay, uh, to, money's a tool. It's a necessary evil. I got all that. But if, if all we're doing this for is the money, then go ahead and just, you know, look like that fellow that was looking over at that reporter. You know what I'm saying? Um, so exactly not. Um, so, so let's, let's make sure that we keep ourselves in the word of God. Somebody just commented somewhere on one of my videos to vote blue. Um, oh my gosh. What a nasty thought. Uh, I hope they're being sarcastic. <laughs> Anyhow, <clears throat> so a <clears throat> so hundred years afterwards, they're already entering into these problems, these troubles, because as soon as, um, as soon as they figured out how much money was going to be involved in that, we've already got it. If you go to Acts, I want to say it's Acts 8 where Simon the sorcerer saw that by laying on of hands that the Holy Ghost was given, he tells Peter, hey, let me give you some money and you teach me to do that, which would indicate by extension, if you will, and this is subjugation, uh, it, it would indicate that he was saying that you give it to me, I'll buy it from you, you give it to me, and then I can sell it to other people. Okay, when we involve money, I'm going to give you some money. I'm hoping to make some more money. I'm giving you money for a product that I hope to be able to re use and reuse. Okay, and uh, and that's that's what that's what we're going for. Uh, <clears throat> I'm not arguing with you on that, Akusita. <laughs> Amen. So, <clears throat> what we're trying to do 
is enhance our relationship with God Almighty. The way we do that is through the flesh that bore our sins, Jesus Christ. Understand that Jesus was tempted in all points. So we are going to, um, we are going to um, get through, but we can get through a whole lot better. I want, <clears throat> I want, to, I want to be as close to God as I can get. You know, putting things aside. You know, there's, there's a, there's this, a frivolity. Okay, there is a frivolity that that occurs. It happens a lot with, uh, with, with men and women. Okay, we forget that Jesus gave that commandment. I give you a new commandment in chapter thirteen. You know to love people way more than we've been, if you will, than we've been guilty of loving them, to love them more truly, to love them more deeply, to more, to less, you know, less uh, self-serving and more God-serving, okay? We, and I don't care who you are, okay? It, we're selfish. Now, understand this, we're in the flesh. Okay, and so we are selfish. Now, that doesn't mean you act selfishly, all right? But we are selfish. We're selfish beings, okay? And because we are, we have to combat that. I can't read any of them, them things coming up. I hope I haven't made nobody mad. Um, it, our flesh is selfish. Like I said, I'm not telling you we're acting selfishly, okay? We are a spiritual body wrapped up inside a fleshly prison. And because the flesh is greedy, it's going to do that, okay? Hold on a second, let me catch up, y'all. Where are we at? I guess, okay, I'm not up, y'all. All the way up. No, uh, I'm gonna disagree with you there, Razor. Uh, if we're not in control of our spirit, our spirit will follow the flesh. If you're in control of your spirit, you're not going to be selfish. And we, we're going to be a different kind of selfish. We're going to be selfish for the kingdom of God. And when you become selfish for the kingdom of God, you're going to witness to these people and try and win them to God Almighty. When you become zealous, when you become addicted to, to uh, the ministry of the saints, then you're going to become zealous to winning people to God. You're going to be, you know, the flesh, please understand what I'm saying. When I say selfish, I'm talking about wanting to eat, wanting to get more stuff, wanting to own more stuff, wanting, you know, get some of this, get some of that. Okay. Um, so, so, you know, we, we do have, that's what I'm saying. We got to control our desires of the flesh. The desire, every one of the desires of the flesh is selfishness. It is to gratify my body for a temporary period. It does not give satisfaction. Okay. We, we, we go over here. I don't care if you go to the biggest buffet and you eat lobster tails all the way down until you can't stuff another in there. About four hours later, you're going to go be looking for something else to eat. You gratified, but you cannot satisfy the flesh. If you smoke, you smoke. I've smoked for years. I smoke cigarette, wake up in the middle of the stinking night, roll out of the bed, sit on the edge of the bed and light one up. Smoke me a cigarette, put it out, roll back over, go back to sleep. Okay. When I drank, I drank beer. I wasn't a big, big, big time drinker, enough, but I would drink. Okay. When I would get chasing women's. All right. Same thing. All right. You catch this and go chase the next one. All right. It is a, it is, it is, it is, this is a thing. Okay. So mental ain't necessarily spiritual, brother. So that, that's what I'm saying. All right. We've got to continue seeking, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all these things will be added to you. 
okay? He's going to take care of our needs. He's going to take care of what we've got to have taken care of. But we've got to do our part, okay? we got to do our part. And and that's that's where most of the time, most, most I'm sorry, most of these preachers are failing. They're failing their congregations by not, not getting up here and expressing to them why we need to abstain from the things that we need to abstain from, okay? Um, smoking, drinking, cussing, you know, because the person's gonna come in and they're gonna say, well, yeah, but preacher, all things in moderation. And I'm like, listen, you get to work out your own salvation with fear and understanding. Um, Dot, I'm gonna tell you right now, we pray you through the Holy Ghost over this thing. If you would allow God to speak through you, you would speak in tongues tonight. It ain't about understanding it, sweetheart. It's about allowing it. Uh, you know. Mm, okay. Okay. I see you, Finn. Funny man, Larry. Uh, yeah. But, uh, <clears throat> Let's see, don't lie, don't steal, don't cuss, don't don't fuss, spit, don't chew, don't hang out with women. Well, you know, here's the reality of it, you know, is that, you know, most of the time, if you start with don't lie, most of the people, it discludes most of the other sins that people would involve themselves in. Because if a person don't lie in the beginning, he will he will move himself away from a bunch of what the other stuff, okay? Yeah, that, that's, that's what I'm saying. But if you start with don't lie, okay? If you don't lie and, you, and you're married, you just disqualify cheating, okay? I mean, unless you got one of them open marriages, which I've, 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 I've seen people that had them. I've seen them when they had open marriages and then later on when they had the open divorce. I never have seen one work. I'm not telling you they don't work. I'm telling you I've never seen one work, okay? Um, it's a drive by opinion, no worries. <laughs> Anyways, <clears throat> damn, whoo, if we're not careful, if I'm not careful, um, I mean, tell you right now, Doc, the, the, the Holy Ghost is a gift. In, in Acts 2.38, it says, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. It's a gift. Now, imagine right now if you had a, if you bought your your sons a present, Okay. And you got, a, you got a Christmas tree, so you go ahead and put them under the Christmas tree. But you tell your kids, you say, it's a gift. The minute I put them down, I bought them for you. They're yours anytime you want to open them. And one son says, well, I'm going to open mine now. Now, they're the same thing. Both of them going to get the exact same thing, okay? A brand new cowboy hat, all right? And uh, so whatever it is. All right, so the first one opens his up. Oh, good. Boop. Puts his hat on. Hallelujah. Praise God, right? The next one looks over and he goes, I'm not, I'm not opening mine yet, Mom. Okay. Nothing changes at all. Hats in the box waiting to be opened. I know. He's losing his, he's losing his place. Uh, it's waiting to be opened. Thank you, Finn. Uh, but what do you think? If, if you're, if you're looking at that, okay, the hat's still the hat. Right? He knows what's in there. Mama bought us both hats. I'm not opening mine. Okay? It's there whenever you want to open it, son. God said it is the gift of the Holy Ghost. It is there whenever you want to open it. When we repent of our sins, God fills us with his spirit. Now, 
if you got a person that's been living for God for years and they got fruit hanging off their tree all over the place, I'm not going to sit here and go, that person don't have the Holy Ghost. I'm not going to do that. Okay. The speaking in tongues is the initial evidence that a person has received the gift of the Holy Ghost. That's the only thing that I can tell you. I can say, I heard them speak in tongues. That was what the, in, in the New Testament church, that was what Peter told the, the council, the Jews at, at Jerusalem. That's what he told them when he went back and he had baptized Gentiles. They were ready to stone his little old sneaky self. I mean, you know, that was, oh my goodness. But he said, we heard them speak in tongues just like we had, showing that it was a like experience to everyone. Okay. So like I said, I won't sit here and tell you this person, well, you know, bless God. I didn't hear them speak in tongues. They don't profess to ever have spoken tongues. So I'm going to say they're not, they're not Christian. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to tell you plain and simply, I didn't hear him speak in tongues. Okay? I, that, what it is, is it disqualifies me as a witness. That's all. Nothing else. Okay? When James was up at my house, we had a hoedown on the back patio, and we prayed for him right on the live video, and he prayed through and began to speak in tongues as the Spirit of God gave utterance. Right there on the porch. Boom. Okay? I'm his witness, and so is anybody that was watching that night. Okay? So is anybody. Then later on, we went down there and baptized him in the wrong name in the river. <laughs> oh, he got the right name on him. I just got a drink, got cold, and forgot who I was. Hallelujah. And that's what I'm saying. So, bada boom. Okay? All we're saying is, is we heard, we got the evidence. That's That's what it means. You're going to have people, I've, I've heard people that are ready to tell you you're going to burn in hell because you didn't speak in tongues. I'm just not ready to do that. I know I, I serve a God that is greater than my personal judgment on his word. Okay, grace and mercy got to come in somewhere. All right, so that's, that's where I'm trying to do. I want you to speak in tongues. It makes me feel better. I've prayed over 6,000 people through to the Holy Ghost, heard them speak in tongues as the Spirit of God gave the utterance. Okay? But I don't run around trying to figure out who is and who ain't in the kingdom of God. It's not my job. It's not my responsibility. My job is to cast seed, to water, to sow, to God belong, to increase. Oh, God, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for not putting that kind of a burden on us men. Hallelujah. Oh, God, hallelujah. Thank you for not putting that kind of a burden on us men, Lord. Oh, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Whew. Now, in John 15, Jesus gets some tricky verbiage going here, okay? Because he's going to talk about the vine. Amen, bro. Facts over feelings. In, Acts, or in, in John 15, okay, let me take a look at this and see what I He said, I am the true vine, and my father is the husbandman, okay? Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. And every branch that beareth fruit, he purgeth it, that it may bring forth more fruit. Now, if y'all hear that, okay, if you don't bring back, if you don't bring fruit, you get cut off. If you do bring fruit, you still get nibbled on a little bit, because um, if y'all know much about um Things like tomato plants, um, whooping your okra and stuff like that. Plants that don't that don't see themselves as perishing in plants don't have a conscience that I understand. Um, that they they think they're dying. You go out there and you pinch the, the ends off of your tomato plants. It thinks it's dying, so it produces fruit because the seed is in the fruit. And yes, tomato is fruit. Okay, and so boom, the seeds in the fruit. 
it produces tomatoes out the out the gazoozle because it's trying to produce as much fruit, as many seeds as it possibly can before the plant is consumed. If you got your okra out there standing t- long and tall, it'll be sometimes it'll be uh, four foot tall, standing up just as straight as it can be. Ain't a bloom on it nowhere. Okay, growing big old fat juicy leaves. Oh my goodness, what beautiful okra plants. And and once in a while, you got to go out there with a stick and you whoop it. Now, you don't break it, you whoop it. You get a light stick that, that, that it is resilient and you literally go out and you whoop it. Okay, you take that stick and you, you bruise them stalks of that okra. And that stalk of that okra, once it's bruised, it goes, oh my goodness, I'm being chopped down. And it begins to produce okra. And it will produce okra so much that you will not be able to keep up with it. I snipped the leaves and start blooming. Okay. Well, Mama said whoop it. Razor's over on my on my page. He's leaving me notes on something other, y'all. Y'all must have made him mad just because you wouldn't let him control the argument. I love it. Out person I've never met before, never seen before, is going to speak to me with authority. It's going to speak to you. I'm going to speak to you with an authority that he assumes to have because he's, he sent himself over here to do it. Okay. Do what you're going to do. I appreciate my, um, I know I, I appreciate y'all. That was, that's what I said. He, he popped over on, I, I can see where he hit on one of my things over. There. I have to go see what he did. I might have to block him. I am interested in him. Um, Every brand, if it don't bring, now, now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Abide in me and I in you as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself except to abide in the vine. No more can ye except ye abide in me. I want you to understand this. Jesus abiding in us compels us to be soul winners. Okay? It will compel you to be a soul winner. Now, everybody and I know this is true. Everybody is not a good soul winner. And when I say that, what I mean is um, some people are overly shy. Some people uh, are not, are not, uh, you know, just whatever it might be. But here's the thing. There's people out there that only you can win. Your testimony, that's how you win people to God. You give them your testimony. You tell them what God has done for you. So you meet a person that, that um, you know, they're, um, I, I, I got a friend, Bo, that went to, went to the jails with me for all those years and stuff. And, and Bo is, a, he's a, got a heart of gold, but he's as hard headed as any mule you've ever laid eyes on. I tell people, I say, if you take a little old two by two and you whack Bo across the top of the head, you might get his attention. Okay. He's that way. Okay. And, and so, but, you may end up in a, in a one-on-one situation where it's just you and this other person and they bring it up and all you can do is just give you, you know what? I, God did this for me, you know, and it may be as simple as that. Just God did this for me. Okay. Being willing is a whole lot more important than being able. Okay. All right. So, um, you know, it's all good. There are no great examples for, of men to Christ. All right. He said, abide in me and I in you. All right. I, I am the vine. Ye are the branches. All right. Six. If a man abide not in me, he is cast forth as a branch and is withered and men gather them and cast them into the fire and they are burned. If you abide, what do y'all think that is? What do you think that burning place is? Hmm. Okay, yeah, let's see, Chuck Boner. Chuck, okay. Um, I'm gonna bet you his name is a, is a joke, y'all. Um, if you abide in me and my words abide in you, you shall ask what you will ask and it shall be done unto you. Herein is my father glorified. We are drawing the trolls tonight, aren't we? 
that ye bear much fruit, so shall ye be my disciples. As the Father hath loved me, so have I loved you. Continue ye in my love. If ye keep my commandments, ye shall abide in my love, even as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. These things have I spoken unto you, that my joy might remain in you and that your joy might be full. This is my commandment, that ye love one another as I have loved you. Greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. Ye are my friends, if ye do whatsoever I command you. Henceforth I call you not servants, for the servant knoweth not what his Lord doth. But I have called you friends, for all things mm -hmm. have I heard of my Father I have made known unto you. Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that you should go forth and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain that whatsoever ye shall ask of the father in my name, he may give it you. These things I command you that ye love one another. If the love, if the world hate you, ye know that it hated me before it hated you. If ye were of the world, the world would love his own, but because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. Remember the word that I said unto you, the servant is not greater than the Lord. If they have persecuted me, they have also, they will also persecute you. If they have kept my saying, they will keep yours also. But all these things will they do unto you for my name's sake, because they know not him that sent me. If I had not come and spoken unto them, they had not had sin, but now they have no cloak for their sin. He that hateth me hateth my father also. If I had not done among them the works which none other man did, they had not sinned. Now they have they both seen and hated both me and my father. But this cometh to pass that the word might be fulfilled that is written in their law. They hated me without cause. But when the comforter is come, whom I will send unto you from the father, even the spirit of truth, which proceedeth from the father, mm -hmm. he shall testify of me. And ye also shall bear witness because ye have been with me from the beginning. Now, Good night, Pastor. Um, like what's going on here? Okay. If the world hates you, it's because it hated him. All right. All he did was heal people, cure people, forgive them of their sins. And they hated him bad enough to kill him. There is no, <clears throat> he, he's, he's saying that because he came and, and did the things that he did in front of men, it assured them that their sin was found out, that they were revealed, their cloak was pulled back. The same thing a guy asked last night, y'all remember him asking, um, why, why didn't God send a, um, something before Noah in the ark. And I'm like, Noah preached for 120 years before the ark, before the rain fell. Okay. The fact that he was building the ark and preaching the word condemned the men because they saw him building the ark. Good night, Dot. Love you, Dot. Okay. He was, he was getting the ark was being built in front of them and they saw it and they repented not. If the world had repented while he was building the ark, I believe God would have healed the world. Okay? There's no reason to believe that God is going to kill us just to kill us. Oh, yeah, he thought he won. The devil was sure he won. Hallelujah. But the devil's a liar and the truth ain't in him. All right, now that was chapter number 14. That was 15. Okay, that's as much as I think I'm going to read here tonight. I can start getting me some cough drops or something. Seven days in a nice crowd. Well, you know, in the triumphal entry, 
There were a bunch. There were a bunch. Okay. Thank you, Meryl. Uh, there were a bunch. But by the time he goes up, he goes like this. He goes to Mount Olivet. And to ascend, there's 500. But by the day of Pentecost, there's only 120. So, you know, think on that. Think on that. Hallelujah. Praise God. Oh, I'm going to stretch a little bit. Forgive me. The book of Enki. I don't know what that is, Larry. Um, if it's a study on demonology, I don't want to know what it is. Um, I don't study demons. I only study, I only study truth. And, uh, you know, you're, if you're, if you're studying up on demons, you got to be careful that you're not inviting them in your house. Um, you're, 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 you're invoking their powers. Ms. Renly was what? What was Ms. Renly? Todd? Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Whoo. Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Because he lives, all my cares are gone. Because, because, <clears throat> because I know, I know, he holds the future. My life is worth the living just because he lives. Hallelujah. All glory to God. Amen, Tom. Amen. Cupcake, you with us in there? I see people saying it up to you. Hallelujah. Okay. The Sumerians, yeah. Start reading up on them Sumerians. And uh, and and just like with the Indians, you realize that, you know, every, everything isn't explained. I, I tell y'all, man, everything isn't explained in the Bible. But be careful of the rabbit holes you're going to jump down because... They're just twisty, turny passages, and everybody that can witness to whatever was true is dead. So all you're going to get is speculation. In the end, all you're going to get is speculation. We've already shown that that science follows the money, and the money follows the science. So, um, you know, say prayers. The tumor is benign. Whoa, hallelujah! Lord, we're going to pray right now that the tumor is benign. For little snicker in Jesus name we pray on this we believe on this we trust God in this we ask it in Jesus name hallelujah 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 oh hallelujah get your eyes on Jesus and let's have church keep your eyes on Jesus and let's have church get your mind on Jesus and let's have church Come on to the house of the Lord. Get your mind on Jesus and let's have church. Get your eyes on Jesus and let's have church. Get your eyes on Jesus and let's have church. Come on to the house of the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Praise God. Oh, hallelujah. My eyes have been major, major surgery. Okay. I'll touch the tight, Lord, in Jesus' name. Major surgery. We're praying for tight right now. God, <clears throat> every hand that touches him, Lord Jesus, will be anointed, led, and guided. Praying for a, a, a full 100% recovery in Jesus' name. A quick and expeditious 100% recovery. We'll continue to pray for cupcake because, Lord, that long COVID stuff is just for the birds. So asking you to give her some relief to bind her up in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen and amen. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, Lord, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <coughs> Pardon me. 
I want to give the Lord the highest praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to give the Lord the highest praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to give the Lord the highest praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise his holy name. When I think of his goodness and what he's done for me, I think of his goodness and how he set me free. Good night, Emma. Dance, 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 dance all night, all night. When I think of his goodness and what he's done for me, when I think of his goodness and how he set me free, I want to shout, 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 shout all night, all night, all night, all night, all night. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Y'all forgive me. I'm feeling a little bit silly tonight. Hallelujah. Lord, in Jesus' name. Hey, Belinda. Hallelujah, Lord Almighty God, hallelujah. God is doing great and wonderful things. <sighs> Most people don't even know what God is doing in their lives. You know, that, that white microphone, even when I don't see him, he's working. Even when I don't hear him, he's working. He never stops, he never stops working. You think about that, and you just go ahead and have faith. I want to encourage you to just let your faith explode. Thank you, Cupcake. Uh, let your let your let your let your faith be encouraged. It never stops. Never stops working. It never stops. Never stops working. Even when I don't see him, he's working. Even when I don't feel him, he's working. He never stops, he never stops working. He never stops, he never stops working. Even when I don't see it, he's working. Even when I don't feel it, he's working. He never stops, he never stops working. He never stops, he never stops working. Even when I don't see it, he's working. And even when I don't feel it, he's working. He never stops. He never stops working. Never stops. Never stops working. Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. <coughs> he never stops working. He never stops. He never stops working. Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are, 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 that is who you are. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop. You never stop working. You never stop. You never stop working. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop. You never stop working. You never stop. You never stop working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Never stop. You never stop working. Never stop. Never stop working. Oh my God. Hallelujah. Oh my God. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus, hallelujah. Oh, God, hallelujah. Mercy, 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 mercy. Oh, me, hallelujah. Hey, Larry, God bless you, buddy. Thanks for thanks for being here, man. Appreciate you. We love you, man. We love you. Hallelujah. Oh, God, hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, goodness. There, there is coming a day. I don't know what that. 
There's going to be a meeting in the air in the sweet by and by. Hello. There's going to be a meeting in the air in the sweet by and by. Hallelujah. I don't know the words to it. Forgive me. I don't know the words to a bunch of songs. This is how I am. I should, I should know them, but I, I will fall into worship and I just forget about words. I just go out there and get caught up in the spirit and just forget I didn't know about them. You know. Oh, he's my rock, my rock, my rock, my sword, my shield, and he's a wheel in the middle of a wheel, and he will never, ever, never, ever let me down. He is the jewel that I found. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I love to praise the name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I love to praise the name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I love to praise the name. I love to praise that holy name. Cause he's my rock, my rock, my rock, my sword, my shield, and he's a wheel in the middle of a wheel, and he will never Ever, never, ever let me down. He is the jewel that I found. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Belinda, God bless you, darling. Thank you for tuning in with us. We're so glad. Crystal, we're glad you're here with us tonight as well. Hallelujah. Sing a Leviticus song. I don't know a Leviticus song. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know a Leviticus song. <clears throat> I know that Jesus told us that we were to love men as, as he loved us. And that always brings me back to Jesus loves me. This I know. For the Bible tells me so, little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me yes Jesus loves me yes Jesus loves me for the Bible tells me so <clears throat> Jesus loves me when I'm good and I do the things I should. Jesus loves me when I'm bad, though it makes him very sad. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. For oh, the Bible. Tells me so. Mm, everybody, let's just uh, put a lid on this and let's pray our way out of here. Lord, in Jesus' name, we come to you in faith, believe and trust in you, God, lifting you up, magnifying you. 
I ask you, God, we thank you for this opportunity for us to have been able to touch one another's lives tonight. We ask you, God, to give us all good rest, wake us well and refresh in the morning. Bless us and guide us in all things. Forgive and guide us, lead us and protect us. In Jesus' name, we pray till we join again together. And we thank you, Lord. We ask you to unify us in the past to keep your hand upon us as we go. In Jesus' name, amen, Lord. Amen. Yeah. God bless each and every one of y'all. I appreciate everybody on here. Love you. If you don't know that, you don't know me at all. In the meantime, thanks for all my moderators, all y'all do. God bless you. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Irene. Good night, everybody. See you all tomorrow, Lord's will. Bye now.